You can have the best books, teachers, and learning materials in the world, but if students aren't healthy, then those resources aren't fully used, and the intended outcomes may not be fully realized. To better facilitate students' learning and achieve a higher level of academic performance, more variables needed to be considered. The whole school, whole community, whole child model aims to expand and organize the many factors that influence a student's success and well-being. WSCC is arranged into 10 components, which are the focus of this video series. In this video, we focus on employee wellness. First, we will identify the importance of employee wellness, and then we will look at examples and results in practice. Employee wellness means fostering health in all school staff as healthy employees are more productive and better able to do their job in attending to student needs. Approaches to employee wellness include programs and policies that embrace a continuum of prevention to intervention strategies and offer personalized health programs such as stress management, improved physical health and nutrition, and risk reduction. Schools have chosen to define and focus on employee wellness in a way that fits their needs. School personnel that we spoke with shared their thoughts about the importance of employee wellness. It's important that schools focus on employee wellness because we can invest every dollar, dime, and time into students and have the most prepared student, but if we're not investing in the same way with the individual on the other side of the desk or in the office down the hall, um, we're, we're still going to have some disparity. Yet. It's really important for schools to focus on employee wellness because teachers have the highest rate of stress of any occupation currently. Um, and rates of teacher stress have actually doubled over the past 30 years. Anyone who interacts with uh, the kids, the adults in the building, um, also have to be healthy. Um, and if they are worried about a family problem, if they are physically ill, if they, uh, if someone is dealing with substance abuse or gambling, that absolutely impacts their ability to fully engage in the work and uh, the education of our children. Schools have focused on employee wellness through various practices and activities. Let's look at some examples of initiatives that schools have undertaken to promote and address issues in employee wellness. We've offered um, all kinds of um, exercise classes. We've had uh, different kinds of screenings, um, cholesterol screening, um, high blood pressure screening, or I should say blood pressure screening. We also uh, have done fun things, so there are a number of different uh, exercise classes that we have offered, um, stress management classes. And we try and plan things for the teachers, you know, massages within the school, just to how a 15 minutes can do. We talk to teachers if they're stretching within the classroom. We do it for the students in physical activity and recess, but what can you also do on your break for five minutes that just helps you de-stress? And um, so not everybody does yoga, so just giving them ideas on how to do it. Be your best for your students. Mentoring programs is very common for early career teachers. Um, that's really effective in increasing uh, um, their retention in the field. And likewise, having sort of social support um, groups or times for um, more experienced teachers to have some social support around um, stressors that may be occurring in the workplace. We're collaborating with the City of New Haven next year um, to start this program. Uh, it's Healthy Attendance Matters for staff. So we're doing Healthy Attendance Matters right now and this is based on students but we're going to move from students to staff because we also want to make sure that you know staff isn't stressed, they're not feeling overwhelmed. Um, we do have employee assistant programs and uh, the City of New Haven also has a employee program, wellness program. So we want to encourage staff to use that too. The employee wellness initiatives that schools undertake have been positive not only for student learning, but have shown positive results that extend to the whole school, whole community, and whole child. So the research shows that schools who have really prioritized employee wellness, decreased teacher stress, and increased their well-being, see increases in teacher satisfaction, teacher retention, student achievement, and improved teacher-student relationships, which is all wonderful. And they see decreases in teacher stress, teacher absenteeism, and decreases in both psychological and physical health risks in teachers. We've seen an increased attendance. We've seen um, teachers being more engaged. Uh, we've seen teachers just healthier. And when individuals are healthier, whether they're in schools or in central office, 
um, they perform better. Learning and health are critical influences to student success and well-being. If students aren't healthy, they can struggle to be successful learners, and having healthy behaviors is an important goal for learning. Employee wellness is identified as one of the interconnected components to student success and well-being. The whole school, whole community, whole child model provides a comprehensive framework to understand the many important and interconnected influences on student success and well-being, enabling school capacity to take a wide lens to identify needs, plan efforts, and evaluate outcomes to facilitate student academic, social, emotional, behavioral, and physical success.